Hey guys, it's Matt Lewis here. Um, I wanted to do a uh, couple, I wanted to actually do a couple different videos uh, based on the Mars M3 box. Um, this video I'm gonna do, uh, kind of show you how to set it up, um, how to download your content uh, start to finish. Um, and then like I said, I wanna do a couple different other videos, how to navigate it um, and how to take care of different uh, errors that you may encounter um uh using this box i just really want to make it to where it's user friendly um for people to use and um to where they don't get uh frustrated with it and there's not any confusion uh while using it but it's very straightforward very easy uh to use um but here we go so uh, like i said we're going to, so this box actually comes with um an hdmi cable uh power record and there's a box and it comes with a remote um so, like I said, all you have to do is pretty much plug up the power power cord and then hook up to the HDMI cable to the TV and set your HDMI source to what that HDMI cable is plugged into. So, we're going to power it up. Here's your power button. button excuse me. Uh, it's at the very top, the red button. Sorry. Uh, so, we're going to power it up. So, wait for it to come on. And if I'm a little... Sh if the... If the, the footage is a little shaky i apologize i'm just trying to film it while holding my camera so i'm gonna let it load up and like i said i actually reset my box just for uh demonstration purposes of how to set this box up so uh so what it'll ask is uh it'll say i don't ask but it'll tell you welcome to m3 click next setup you're going to click the uh, ok button uh, which is in the center so you'll click it It'll actually highlight it. You'll have to click it again. And then it'll ask what language you want to use, which English will be mine. So we'll click next. And then it'll come across the screen for as, uh, how, for as adjustment, adjusting the screen. Um, I, I actually use it at default, so I never really mess with it. It seems fine to me. So we'll click next. And then it, it gives you options as far as Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I use Wi-Fi. Um, this box is actually... It does make a big difference on um, uh, how good the internet is. Uh, my internet provider is pretty good, and I'm actually using Wi-Fi, so I'm not having I'm not having any problem at all as far as uh, performance on this box. Uh, my actually my internet is actually um, across the house, um, and it's still doing pretty well with my provider. Now, if you haven't uh, if you have um, the internet is not so great, I would recommend hooking directly up to it uh, with the Ethernet cable. There's a port in the back of the box. Um, and you also have the option of using um, a hotspot. Um, and this is also good to take for us on a camp trip if you wanted to. Uh, if you have some way of hooking up to a TV or if you have a portable TV that has HDMI uh, port in it. So um, it's a pretty neat little box. So uh, what we'll do next is we'll scroll down to, oh, yeah, there we go. We'll scroll down to the little gear, uh, I call it a little gear sprocket, but uh, the settings tab. Uh, you click in the settings tab and the highlighted uh, it'll automatically come to the highlighted area of network and internet connection so you click on that you'll find your internet uh, the internet you're using um, so see so here i'm gonna click on that um, and then you'll put your password in so i'm gonna put my password in i'll come right back and, and uh, we'll continue with this uh, video all right guys we're back uh, i got the internet uh set up um as far as my wi-fi password so we'll start uh from there uh so what you'll actually do first uh, is you'll go to your app store uh and as far as the app store uh you'll click on that and it'll actually have a disclaimer notice you'll read that you can read that if you like uh, but it'll count out from 10 once it counts out from 10 uh, you can click ok so we'll wait for that and then we can click the ok button uh, and then you'll find the uh, video on demand uh, and the blue TV and the playback. That's that's the three different apps that you'll be downloading uh, on the Mars M3 box. Um, and when you actually click on this, you'll actually see it uh, come up with a green arrow on the uh, right upper corner of that. Um, you'll see in just a second. So I'm going to click on that, click on that, and then click on that. Um, and then like I so said, you'll wait for it to uh, download. When you know it's downloaded, it'll actually pop up a green uh, check mark. 
There's the first one for the blue VOD. And then blue TV is coming in just a second. Okay, I actually play back. I actually beat uh, blue TV. So give us a second for the blue TV. There we go. All right, so that is actually downloaded. So what we'll do is either you can hit the return button twice. It'll bring you back to the home screen. Or you can hit the home screen button. So let's hit the home screen button. All right. So after we do that, we will actually click on to the um, M3 Live, the M3 Live TV tab. Um, and then you'll click on to the add with the OK button. Uh, and then you will click on the uh, Blue TV uh, app. And then once it pops up a check mark, you actually, you can either hit the return button, which that's what you'll do. Uh, when you hit the return button, you'll actually click back into it with the OK button once you've got that app on there. And you can't really see it right now, but there is a thing, uh, it's, it's just saying for accessing, uh, just bypass that the by just saying, um, you'll actually, you'll double click the right arrow button to, it's kind of hard to see the highlighted uh, spot. Let's see if I can get closer and see if you can see that. So what you'll do is you'll hit um, the right arrow button twice and you'll see that highlighted section will go allow and then you'll do that again there'll be two times as you'll do that um you'll actually do this for every oh, so let me sit back down so you'll actually do this for every i'm gonna pause i'm gonna mute this right quick so you'll do this for every uh, app um that you download so let's uh back out of that so um as far as we're going to the vod and then you'll do the same thing pretty much uh, for every different app. So you'll find the blue VOD that you downloaded. You'll back out of that with the backspace button again. And then you'll click in there. And it'll ask the same questions. So you'll hit that twice. You can't see it from here, but I can pretty much do this with my eyes closed now. Um, now, the cool thing about this um, M3, it actually has a uh, parental uh, password that you can put in. Um, reason why it has a parental password for the VOD is that under the settings tab, it has adult content. Um, they actually kind of, I, I kind of applaud them actually because they actually do this to kind of discreet where it does not have a adult content tab. Um, it actually has it under settings and it's hidden. Um, when, if, if your kiddos by chance accidentally stumbles into the sentence and was wanting to play around with it, um, and they wind up clicking parental control. That's where actually the adult content would be at. They would actually come across that after the password set and they would not be able to access that. Um, so that is uh, a plus uh, for that. That's actually a you know, applause to, to the Mars company for doing that. Um, so like I said, this is the, the VOD that we got downloaded. And I'll actually, in my other video, I'll show you how to navigate through the, the video on demand, the, the TV, as far as how to set your, your how to search, how to uh, set your favorites. So we'll back out of here. We'll hit the home button this time. And we'll bring to the M3 replay. M3 replay, um, it doesn't have um, what it actually offers. We'll actually get in here. I'll show you in just a second. Um, so M3 uh, replay, it actually offers um, replay for up to a week on most of your major channels. It doesn't show every channel that the live TV section has, um, but it has, I think, 37 different channels that you can see. Like you can watch um, fight uh, or a baseball game, football game, race, whatever. Uh, here's um, his channel, pay-per-view. Um, you can see the college football game, hockey. So you can actually see all these things within a week. Uh, as long as you watch it within a week, you can actually watch it on replay. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. As far as how to download that, uh, download these different uh, apps. Um, the last thing I'll probably touch on, I don't know if y'all noticed. Uh, actually, let me hit the uh, unmute button. So the last thing I'll touch on, um, if y'all didn't notice as far as the clicking noise um the clicking noise gets kind of annoying i know my wife uh when i was when i was using this before i stumbled across that um you know especially when you're typing in uh, a title for a tv series or a movie uh it gets kind of annoying with all that clicking um and one way to get rid of that uh very simple um you actually as a you actually have a cursor button on this remote the cursor button is actually for um browsing uh, far as online, so you'll actually hit the cursor button 
to get into the cursor mode. And I know the volume control is going to be over to the right hand side of the, the screen. So you'll hit the um, volume tab or a volume button either up or down. And then you'll scroll, you'll actually click over and get to the bell icon. Click on that. It'll actually disable it uh, as far as having that clicking noise. Uh, once you do that, you just hit the um, the cursor button again to get out of the, uh, the cursor uh, mode. And you're pretty much ready to rock and roll, man. Um, I definitely appreciate y'all um, checking this video out. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, hit me up on Messenger, uh, Matt Lewis on Facebook, or um, I might have another different way of contacting. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions I can. Um, like I said, this, this, this box is pretty straightforward. It's an awesome little box. Um, uh, like I said, it's a very reasonable price, um, especially as far as versus paying for uh, cable um, or several different uh, streaming uh, services. So the time you pay for this box, um, within a couple months, it's pretty much paid for uh, itself. So um, definitely something good to consider. Like I said, I'll be doing uh, another video on how to navigate through uh, live TV uh, video on demand um, and just a couple different um, tricks along the way. Uh, I definitely appreciate y'all. Uh, God bless. Have a good one.